My hand all shaky. I just had me a large Irish cream cold brew. Really, it's just this thing though. Am I really that? Doesn't matter. Anyway, what's up, everybody? It is probably going to hear it coming to you with another video. Okay, so as y'all see, I tried to get festive a little bit. I tried to get a little bit festive. You know what I'm saying? They had this little thing at Home Goods. Y'all know I've been doing my little apartment, so I picked it up. I did what I needed to do. It's a little janky, but it's okay. You know, it's going to get this. It's doing what it needs to do. Oh, so, yes, you guys. How are you? How you feeling? How you living? Okay, so listen. I don't know why, but this reading has been in my spirit for about a week now. I don't know why, but somebody wants to know, and I'm going to let you know. So we have four piles here. As y'all can see from the title above, we are going to be looking at who is in secret competition with you because it's somebody it's something i'm picking up on i don't know if it's a collective energy but we're going to be tapping in so pile one is going to be the muse tarot i'm over here looking because i really don't know pile one is the muse tarot pile two is going to be the russian tarot of saint petersburg pile three is going to be the wild unknown tarot pile four is going to be the dream keepers tarot so let me make sure we in focus because i had to Oh, I'm so mad. I had to put my camera as far back as possible. I'm just so mad about this setup, but we're going to work with what we got. Anyways, go ahead and pick intuitively. We're just going to do a little quick, a little clearing. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you guys, go ahead and pick intuitively. And also, again, for my people that have been supporting me, those that have been paying for readings, because I have been doing personal readings two questions for 30 dollars yes and y'all been y'all been coming through and i just want to say thank you also if you would like to donate all my information is down below and those that have already donated i just want to say thank you and just y'all already know what the drill is thank y'all for just being here you know what i'm saying like thank you for your presence i hope you guys have a happy holidays hence the sign but yeah without further ado we're gonna get started okay pile one this person's name could be stacy or sienna their name could start with an s or a c i am getting more so first name but it also could be middle initial i don't know why i'm getting someone that y'all used to go to school with i'm hearing back in kindergarten back in the day um this could be like a childhood friend and y'all don't even got to be really close right now Oh my gosh, I'm literally getting that you guys would be very surprised this person is even in a secret competition with you. It's like, girl, I don't even think about you. I'm thinking of someone with long hair. I am getting a feminine, but it could be a masculine. Hence why I said girl. But I'm getting like long hair. Someone could be 22 or 24. Um, you might have been close with this person. I'm getting 12 years ago. Y'all, I'm getting somebody from the past. But we're going to see. You are at a distance from this person. Either you knew them back in the day or they have a kindergartner or a preschooler like they have a child and maybe you don't. I just heard a mother figure. Someone likes the color purple. I'm hearing purple and gold. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So, we don't really have to talk about the cards that I just seen. However, I did just see the three of wands and the death card. So, we're getting Aries energy and also Scorpio energy. But for me, what that is representing, I feel like you have moved on from a specific area. I feel like this is someone from a distance and it's giving way back. It's giving like, girl, we don't even talk about you no more. So I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what I just got? <laughs> what, what was her name? Is it Duchess? No, Danger. She smashed the homies. Oh my gosh. Was that her name? Ah, she smashed the homies. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? What's going on here? So I feel like this could have been someone y'all was really cool with. Might even be someone you cool with now. I don't know. But for my men, even if you're not a man, I just keep getting bros before hoes. So like there had to have been some dynamic where y'all was close at a point. Y'all either smashed somebody that they liked or vice versa. Was it Duchess? Why am I getting Duchess? She smashed the homies. But like I don't think that was her name. That might have been a different one. But let's see. Who is, okay, this person could have a bob too. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting a feminine energy with like orangish reddish hair or like a wig or something. Let me see. 
Hmm, this person could. I'm getting like freckles, Irish. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring it back. This person could like key block. They could like Starbucks. Or this could be your energy. Sorry, I have to whistle. And anytime I try to whistle and it doesn't come through, that's how I know there's like an interfering energy. This person could like glam decor because I'm homing in on this. They could be very girly. Let's see. Who is in secret competition with my pile one? Who is in secret competition with my pile one? Girl, not the high priestess coming out. Who is in secret competition? Who is this person that's in competition with my pile one? The eight of wands. Who is this? Are they close to this person? Like, how would they know who this is? We have Pisces energy coming through here. And we also have Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, they're coming off as very girly. And if they're not girly, they know how to dress. And you know why this is like coming up? Okay, really quick before we get into it. <laughs> okay, so this, this is what's going on here. I don't know what you guys do for work. You could do something in the spiritual field. You guys could be spiritualists. But it's something about whatever you do for business or for work that is taking off a lot faster than this person's. And I do feel, let me see, what, is it similar work? I don't know, it's almost like this person knew you at a point, y'all, with the page of wands. Listen, I keep getting this storyline, right? The first storyline is y'all might do similar things for work and something about what you do is just taking off a lot faster. I keep hearing they biting at minds first. So it's almost like people are coming to you more than this person. You're getting more attention. And for whatever reason, this person feels like they have to be in some type of competition. Some of you guys have changed your hair. You do art. There's something new that you have started. And I feel like this person admires it, but they're mad because when you do it, it's better. And they know this. When you try new things, it just works. Y'all ever heard the saying of, like, I could never wear that, but you could. Like, you could pull that off. And it's so crazy because I don't think y'all even would think that this person is in competition. Because it's almost like I can't even pick up on their energy. They're so in the bushes. Give me one second. We have a lot of fire sign energy coming through. Um, and my uh, phone just went off. Someone could be from Mississippi. Anytime I see 228, I think of Mississippi. Or they could be a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius. Oh, you know what I was about to say? Sagittarius. Oh, girl, what's going on here? Give me one second. Someone could own a black cat. Whoever this is, they do this in secret. Someone could be working in medicine. Like they um, either give IVs or they do like needle tattoo work that might have been why i thought of duchess they either do tattoos or they do something where they have to prick so like i'm getting someone who has to like administer medicine in some type of way girl this person could have black and white flooring or they like checkered print who is this person that's in competition with power one let's stop playing because who is this who is this person that's in competition with power one anytime i use this deck i pick up on a very creative energy so whoever this is I just feel like there's a jealousy about how fast your whatever you're doing is moving. I think some of you guys done lost weight. Some of y'all done changed your hair. It's like a transformation that occurred here. It's almost like this person never thought that you was going to come up. So I don't know what y'all got going on, but it's like the forward movement. You are excelling. I think you have outgrown this person. And who you have become or who you are becoming is almost like frightening to this person i'm almost getting like even if this person was around you a lot because right now i don't think they're really around you whatever box they put you in you know i talk about this often it's almost like whatever you do now this talent which i'm gonna say new talent because it might not be new to you but it's new to them i'm getting that like <laughs> new to new to y'all but not new to me i don't know i think they're shocked they're like, mm, they ain't tell me they did that. Mm, they ain't tell me they was into that. Y'all, this might be this might be someone y'all close with. Because it's almost giving me that energy of like when a family member be like, oh, I didn't know you did that. And now they watching. Oh, let me see. We have the Six of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Oh, girl. 
Let me see, because this is this is getting weird. Why are they in competition? Wow, the Page of Swords. Whoever this is, they watch you. So can you give me one more card about who this is? Who is it? Please make it clear. Because let me just tell y'all. Yes, the Seven of Wands. Who is a Sagittarius here? A Cancer, a Pisces, or any type of fire sign. Okay? We also have Aquarius. This is my thing. Girl, Libra. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Queen of Wands. Yes. I mean, it's, it's really that, that simple. I'm going to try to see who this person is, but I'm not going to lie. Either. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all really can't see. Let me back this up a little bit. It don't matter. Y'all can't see the cards anyway. But let me just tell you who I think this person is, okay? For some of you guys, this person could like stripes. They might have braids in their hair or like, I feel like they keep themselves done. If it's not them, it's you. They could wear a lot of like jewelry on their fingers. I'm getting someone who is fashionable. But the thing about it is, you know what I'm thinking of? There was this interview that Nicki Minaj did and I think she was talking. I'm, I might put it right here. But you want to know what scares people? Success. When you don't make moves and when you don't climb up the ladder, everybody loves you because you're not competition. When you become competition, the people start, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, people going Wait, hold on, let me, wait, hold on. So true. But she was talking about how basically everybody's for you until you start really rising because then it's like people see you as competition. This is either an old friend that you used to have that you have outgrown or this is a friend now that you are literally outgrowing. And I think they could feel that. I think you are about to move into a different space. And it's like the tables have turned. I think they knew you and were close to you back in a time where you didn't really know yourself. Things weren't really looking up. You were still trying to find yourself. You might have been in this more, I don't want to say an insecure state, but you really hadn't tapped into your full capabilities. And I feel like there's more to come. But you are now starting to see the light. And it's like you are moving forward. I don't know what y'all doing, but whatever it is that you're doing is giving me new creation I'm moving to calmer waters with or without you. I'm outgrowing you. You don't fit no more. It's giving me a sweater that doesn't fit. And whoever this is is very upset. I'm not going to lie. Three people I'm getting. This is either a close friend, someone that is a friend now. And if that is the case, you have already been picking up on the fact that they are in competition with you. Especially if someone that you liked started or someone that they liked started liking you i keep getting this storyline of someone stole somebody's dude or someone stole somebody's crush and even if you not talking to the crush because some of y'all i feel like y'all not even really giving this person time of day it's just a simple fact oh that's tea okay oh that's tea something just came down it's the simple fact that the person that they think is cute is actually looking at you they cannot stand it you got a lot of people looking at you and I feel like you guys are like the black sheep or were and right now you're getting attention in some way. There's some type of attention or shine that you are getting. Even if you don't know about it, this person knows about it. And let me tell you how I know they know. This is what's making me think this could be a close friend. So use your intuition. When I look at this six of voices, I don't know why it just came down. Communication and the page of wands gossip talking. I don't know. I keep getting this storyline of a masculine or somebody's crush bringing you up instead of this other person. It's like every time this person comes around or every time y'all come around, like picture two people together. They go to the mall. They see a crowd of people and maybe you you with your friend and then you like, oh, girl, like I'm gonna catch you later. I'm about to go to the food court. So when you leave, it's like everybody's talking about you. Everybody is talking about how pretty you are. When you're not around, that's who everybody's asking about. It's like, oh, yo, your sister, like, what's up with her? Like, if somebody was to come up to this person, male or female, I'm just using a lot of, uh, <laughs> like, I'm just using it from a feminine perspective, but I keep getting this scenario where it's like, hey, 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 what's up? And then when they're saying that, that's to your friend, of course. Like, let's say your friend is Gina, and I'm going to use me. They're like, hey, Gina, what's up? Hey, come here. So Gina is thinking, oh, they about to come to me and, you know, flirt with me. And they're like, hey, I just had to ask you. 
What's up with Paige? That's what is given. And then it pisses this person off. I keep getting this energy of this person feels like they have to do so much to get attention. You are stealing the attention. Is there any other card that could give me... So either this was a childhood friend or this is a friend now. We have the Queen of Wands, definitely could be a fire sign, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So whoever y'all know in y'all life, that could be very, because their energy just came up as vain. They could be used to getting most of the attention. They could be very feminine, or they, like I said, they like to dress. They are very into their looks. Um, and you know for a fact, they're, it's like this person doesn't like to give the attention to other people. They don't want the attention on anybody else but them. And it's like, I think they would not be so much in competition with you if they shit was actually moving, but it doesn't seem like it is. It's like their projects aren't moving as fast as yours. Is this somebody close to them? Any other, any other evidence? What's going on? The two of wands. I don't know. It's a fire sign, y'all. So either y'all stop talking to this person. At the bottom of the deck, we did have Virgo energy. We keep getting this Six of Swords. So let me tell y'all what I'm picking up on, and then I'm going to move on. You got a friend that's jealous here, and I feel like this person could still be in your circle, and I think you have been picking up on that you might be outgrowing this person. They might throw petty shots at you, like when you tell them about your achievements, but someone is very scared that you are about to outgrow them. For some of you guys, this might be someone that y'all used to date, because we do have the King of Wands here. I'm picking up on a friend with this Two of Cups, and then with this King of Wands, a lover or a past lover. They just really feel like you are outgrowing them. You were, listen, you wasn't a problem when you was in this energy. Yes, this is a seven of wands, but the way I'm looking at this, she is looking down. She's not looking up. Probably doesn't even realize all that energy, all that confidence, all of that behind. But honey, someone's seeing the vision, okay? Someone is seeing the vision with this page of swords. I'm sorry if y'all can't see it, but I feel like someone is clear as day, just as clear as that just got. Yes. And honey, someone is sick about it because they could feel you moving on. Y'all either about to move on or y'all did move on. Girl. So let me see. I just gotta, I gotta ask. So what do they be doing behind closed doors? Like, I don't know. Is there any more tea about like what they specifically do with this competition that they have? What do they do? What does Power One's person do? Ten of Voices in the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Y'all. Let me tell y'all. This is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to say it because I just heard blocking lovers. If people come up to this person, if y'all have this person in your life, right? Even if it's an ex, because I'm getting this. I keep getting where people are coming to this person and they're saying, hey, put me on with so-and-so or like, what's up with so-and-so? You being so-and-so. And whoever this person is, mm -mm. they're not telling you. I'm almost positive. Y'all have had a bunch of people go to this person and say, hey, can you hook me up or can you put me in? Can you lock me in? This person knows, but nah, they're not telling you. I keep seeing that. Also, I'm getting some other things. This is very specific. If you are trying to watch your figure or you're trying to stick to some strict routine and this person keeps trying to get you off of that routine and you would already told them what the plan was, that's them. Also, if you like ever feel like you're passionate about something, you're like, oh, I want to just tell my friend or tell whoever, and they kind of shut it down or they try to do something that's like, it's almost like they're stuck in this immature state of being. So if you want to study, they want to go out. Mm -mm. And they know what you're trying to do. I'm telling you, that's them. What else they be doing? One more, please. What else does this person do? It's a lot of yellows coming in. So that just tells me that y'all have grown up in some type of way and they just can't handle it. The death card. Not the death card. Ooh, the devil card. This could be a Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Or this could be y'all signs. Whoever this is, though, even if they're none of those signs, they're sneaky as fuck. Either y'all have already cut this person off and they were super close to you, or you're about to cut them off because you're going to find out that they are very sneaky. And it's almost like... They are so insecure and they feel so stagnant in their life. So they want to create barriers for you, even if it's energetically. You know, now I don't like to give people that power and say, oh, they're doing this and they're doing that. 
you know, it's whatever. But what I'm saying is, is like, it's almost like they want to orchestrate your life. So if y'all were down, I know this is a little long winded, but I got to get this out because this person, the way this energy is and how long it had to take me to tap in, they're very hidden. So you got to be careful with this. It's one thing as an enemy, you know who your enemy is because you know for a fact, or let me say it like this, with an enemy, you know what their intentions are because they have shown you that they're an enemy. But when, ooh, someone's name could be Emily. But when you have somebody hidden like this, especially if they're close to you, this is a problem. I'm gonna see what your advice is. But what I'm trying to say here is like, this person at some point, I'm not gonna lie, it seems like they had some type of control over your life or they had some type of say so and you was kind of under their like little spell. This could be like a friend or like, I just feel like y'all wasn't really where y'all at now and they're not used to you coming up and they feel like you kind of did something sneaky. And I don't think it was sneaky. I just think you, you kind of found out about this person and you kind of found out like they're not really for me. And the way I'm like channeling these messages is crazy. <sighs> Let me calm down. It's almost irritating me. I feel like y'all were already picking up on intuitively that you can't tell this person everything. And you guys have made a move that really you didn't have to tell them in the first place. And it took them by surprise. And whatever that was, it's really working out for you. Their life is not moving that fast. Like I said, this was some type of toxic connection. Y'all, and if it's not, listen, if y'all ain't cut this person off yet, y'all gonna be cutting them off. That's all I'm gonna say about that, okay? Um, and whoever this is, they are very insecure. Let me see what your advice is. What is Power One's advice? What is Power One's advice with this person? The Ten of Wands. Mm. Okay, what's their advice? I'm telling y'all, this might be someone that y'all still have in y'all life. Let it go. Exactly, the world. If y'all have found out who this person is, get rid of them. Okay? The Ten of Wands and the World card. That's giving me 10-10. They are a burden. You have outgrown them. You are going to another place that they are not meant to go. Keep focusing on your craft. Keep some things to yourself. You see how she's holding that? That's her artwork. She's holding it. She only gives so much. Mm -mm. Don't let this person bring you down, okay? Keep going after your goals. I own the prize. I own the money. And I don't know. I really think it's over. Like, you have already learned the lesson with this person. I'm really getting an energy of you have outgrown this person. And if this person is outside of your life, then good dandy. You don't got nothing to worry about. But still, I I'm telling y'all because some of y'all still have this person around you and you've been intuitively picking up on this. And it, okay? So yes, power one, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to power, okay, power two. Okay, because we might need to do a video about who's evil eyeing you. I mean, like, what's really going on? Okay, so let me move this um, a little forward, maybe. All right. Sorry for the lighting. I'm in my house and, uh, really it's not the house, it's just a setup. I don't want to turn on this light though because then it just, no. But anyway, <laughs> just focus on P. So first of all, um, let me just get this, this out the way. If you are someone who has recently done something with your body, I am picking up on like a surgery of some sort, fillers, I don't know. It's something like very cosmetic. If you, ooh, someone just got veneers. This could be that person or you. I really feel like there's a lot of jealousy around, and I'm hearing nip tuck, something that you did with your body. So if you have recently told somebody that you are interested in surgery or you're interested in getting something fixed, removed, whatever, whoever that person is or that friend group, because it's three people coming through right now, there's like this, this competition. I'm getting more so jealousy, but it's like a jealousy slash competition because now you're going to be at a certain level. I don't know what that's about, but I keep getting someone is about to be looking really good. Not saying that you have to get surgery to look good, but I saw the four swords and I saw the empress card. For some of you guys, this could be a mother figure. I was getting something about family. Y'all could be mothers. I just keep seeing something about how you look. It's like someone's in competition with how you look. So if you've been seeing someone, when you get a hairstyle, they get a hairstyle. I'm getting like a real big one-up energy. So let's see. The moon card, three of cups, cancer energy, Aries energy, Pisces energy, and then also Libra. There was something else. Oh, I don't know why I just heard Virgo, but none of those have to resonate. Let's clean this out because it's a lot coming down, which makes me think this could be like a friend group along with family. Why is there so many people in competition with you? Y'all you, you, must have a business or something. I don't know. Let's see. 
who is in secret competition with pile two that they need to know about? This person could be into construction work. I don't know why I just heard Consuela because it's someone's name with a C O N. I don't know. It's something coming through here. Someone could be Mexican, Spanish, Puerto Rican. I know I just said that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. I'm hearing Borico, Borico. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Let me hold on. It's a lot coming down. This person could be from Spain, Brazil. They could be Brazilian. Oh my gosh. I'm, I keep hearing Madrid. Someone could have just watched um, Money Heist. And if you know that, either that's you that just watched it or this person does. And for you to know that, you would have to know them. Okay. Who is in secret competition with Pile 2? Who is in secret competition with Pile 2? Y'all might have been drawn to Pile 1. Who is in secret competition with Pile 2 that they need to know about? We have the Queen of Cups. This could be a mother. Oh, no. Who is in secret competition with Pile 2? Weird storyline just came through and then I'm going to tap out of that because that's not the main thing. If y'all got this weird thing going on with your mom and... You know, her husband be at you. There's something going on there. I don't know what's going on about that. Like her, it's like the people that she associates with or someone that she messes with might think you're attractive. And that's the thing. But outside of that, because we just going to tune out the weird shit. But anyway, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So who is this person? And why are they in competition? Who is this person for power two? The Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. The Empress. This is what I'm saying. Okay. The Six of Wands. Two storylines. Let me start with this mother storyline. Okay. Either this is a mother or maybe an auntie. I'm getting aunties, uncles, family members. I really think some of you guys have outgrown, almost like Power One, like how I was telling them. Not even just outgrown people in your family, but it's almost given me like you have outdone a lot of things. Like maybe if your family, because I don't want to focus on that, but like let's say if someone didn't finish college and you did. It's like a lot of the things that some of your family members have tried to do or have wanted to do, you have exceeded in those things. I'm also picking up on like some of you guys might have came from a rough area. It's given me a lot of like I made it out and I made it through. Y'all were able to get yourself out of a situation and it's almost creating this type of, this jealousy, this, well, I, now I got to go and do this. Now I got to go and do that. It's more so coming out as jealousy, not even competition. If y'all took somebody's man, ooh, if y'all took somebody's man, it's that person or if th there could be another feminine at your job that is trying to Oh, there is somebody at work here. Okay, give me a second. If y'all are new at work and my head is starting to hurt, this person can have long blonde hair. If you guys are new at work, it's almost like there's a competition around who could work the hardest and who can get to a certain position. Someone knows that you're about to get offered a position and it's almost like I'm seeing two people have to compete in order to like shine so that they can get this promotion. So if it's not family, which I, I still think it is because I think there's more things happening for you guys. This is somebody at work that is fighting to get either your position or some type of praise. Yeah, with the six of wands, someone's success is giving me a work rivalry. It's like, what are we doing? Ooh, I would not be surprised if this person tries to stop you from getting a certain position at work or... If there has been someone that you have took a pro um, promotion from on purpose or even on accident, this is them. They are salty about that. Ooh, this reading, I can tell this reading is low vibrational because honey, the way my mind, I keep disassociating <laughs> from like the energy, like what's really going on? Okay, for pile two, who is in secret competition with them? I'm hearing Taurus, Virgo, who is in secret competition with them? Page of Cups, you know, Give me one second because I keep, I keep getting this energy of a newer friend. If y'all just made friends with somebody or if y'all are thinking about resuming a connection because you just fell out with one person, it's that person. I know that sounds so weird, but it's giving me like a new friend. Y'all might talk and kiki with this person and they might act like they're happy for you. Ooh, but they're like. 
Oh my gosh, it's giving me like a newer friend. And I feel like y'all be around this person. Y'all be sharing stuff with each other. But it's like they're in competition with you. What is this about y'all? What's really going on? For some of y'all, this is y'all partner. I'm tired of that storyline. This is an ex, someone that y'all walked away from. Y'all might have had a business together. I think they have tried to come back and try to work on this with you, trying to give you a new emotional situation. Yep, here we go. The King of Swords and all these other kings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, I'm not really getting competition. I'm getting, ooh, I didn't even say that. I'm not really getting, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Hold up, let me reel it back. I did mean to say that. That's so funny because I wanted to say jealous. Let me tell y'all. Look how confusing this shit is. King of Swords, Knight of Cups. I don't even think... Okay, the storyline is coming through. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm glitching. Whew. It's not even in competition with you with this storyline. It's in competition for you. Y'all might have suitors actually going at it behind closed doors. I'm getting three different people. There's a Page of Cups, a Knight of Cups, and we also have a King of Swords here. We also just seen the Emperor and we have the Empress. So this is a separate message, you guys. Queen of Swords in reverse. There could even be people of the same sex trying to talk to you as well. Let me tell y'all, especially if y'all have a tarot business or some type of spiritual business, um, side message, I just want you to know that there's gonna be a lot of people from the past coming back and there's gonna be a lot of people in competition to get your attention. And I feel like you guys are very successful right now or you're walking into success. Yes, splitting the deck with this nine of pentacles. And I just keep hearing like there's this energy of people being upset about it. What's going on here? Oh, wow. This is a separate message. We got the empress twice, y'all. We got the empress twice. Okay, let me tell y'all. It don't matter who's in secret competition with y'all because y'all gonna beat out the competition. But I'm not going to lie. They could be a Taurus. This could be... I just heard meeting the beauty standard. Oh, this is giving multiple people. One minute I want to say this is mom. The next minute I want to say this is family. Then the next minute I'm, I'm thinking that people are just in competition for your attention. But I feel like you guys... It's almost giving me like a celebrity status. And it just... Yeah. And the star card being at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like you guys are like at a celebrity status. So there's a lot of people that admire you, but they try to compete with what you do. But it's not just competition. It's more so like if you go do something, they got to go do it. Regina George just came through. It's, it's like a reflection type of energy. So if you go, I don't know, make $10, they're like, oh, I got to go make 15 I don't know. I know that was a weird example, but it's giving that, which lets me know that these people either work with you or they do the same type of work with you. But I'm also getting in love. There's a lot of people that are going to be competing for your attention and I feel like y'all might want to watch Pile 1 because it is giving right now that you are getting most of the attention from these suitors. And whoever this Queen of Swords is in reverse, they're very upset that they're not getting the attention. This could even be in work. This person, it's not hot no more. Now you're getting the attention. And it's like this person feels like they have to compete in order to be seen. Like I said, this could be at work or even in love. Anything else for Pile 2? Ooh. Anything else for Pile 2? The hangman, Pisces energy. Why the hangman? Who's in secret competition with them? Okay, if y'all had a roommate or someone with a legal situation, Pisces, Sagittarius energy, that could be y'all or them. Or if there was someone that you kind of like left behind, if someone that I feel like was in your life, please watch Power One. Either they tried to take you to court or like they took some money from you. There was something that happened here. And honey, the, the score got settled. You are doing good. They're not doing so great. They're stuck. It's like if y'all ever watch one of my karma videos and I told you like their karma is your glow up along with the fact that things are not going to move as fast for them as they are for you. This is that person. This is a very weird message. It's crazy how these messages are coming out. Please watch Pile 1. So yes, Pile 2, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And we're going to move on to Pile 3. I cannot wait to be done with this reading. This energy is draining. Okay, let's see. Who is in secret competition with Pile 3? This person could like pizza or you guys have went to like a pizza parlor together. They could like to eat a lot of carbs. Don't know how you would know that unless it was someone that you know already. Okay. That was just Aries, Gemini, and Virgo energy, but let's see. Someone's name could start with a D. I just heard Dion. 
That name's been coming through. Destiny, Desiree, Destinique, Delilah, Adala, Adala, a daisy. Okay, so letter D names. That is her Ophelia. What's going on? Okay, so this is someone that I feel like might not be in you guys' life no more, but y'all were close with them. I don't like how I had to tell Pile 1. Pile 3. This person could like to wear the color blue. They could like Nipsey Hussle. They could be a Scorpio. Who is in secret competition with Pile 3 that they need to know about? Who is in competition with Pile 3 that they need to know about? Who? I'm hearing ground your energy. We have the Mother of Wands. Who is in competition? The Mother of Cups. Oh, no. Now, what's going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Why are they in competition with Power 3? Why are they in competition with Power 3? Wow. What's the motive? What's the motive? This is somebody... Okay. Wait. What's the motive here? The daughter. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, can I be honest? Yeah. 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 Okay. Interesting. Let me tell y'all who's in competition with y'all. <laughs> okay. It's a couple of people. Whatever you guys do for work, this pile is not going to be for everybody. It's almost giving me, as an example, if I was, I said if I was a tarot reader, me being a tarot reader, this is coming up as other tarot readers to me, if I was looking at it from my perspective. So if y'all do something for work, whatever it is, and you know there's other people that have that same type of business, there's a lot of people that... I'm almost hearing healthy competition, but they are secretly competing with you to see. It's almost like they watch what you do. They want to like see what your next idea is. You guys might be doing things a little bit different. You might think you're not being different, but other people do. So it's almost giving me more of like an admiration. Y'all might be very closed off in this Mother of Wands energy with this snake protecting her eggs or, you know, well, I'm gonna say her, yeah, her, his eggs. It's like you guys keep a lot of stuff to your chest and I feel like when you pop out with these new ideas, new hairstyles, whatever it is that you're popping out with, people are shocked and it's like you're progressing and excelling very fast. So you have a lot of people that want to know what you do and how you do it. And you know, are they putting themselves in competition with you? Yes, but this is almost like a competition where I feel like you should be flattered. You know what I mean? A lot of people... They might do stuff and actually imitate you. They might not give you no credit. I do feel like one of these people give you credit, but there's like a lot of wanting to be like you and wanting to have the same type of glow that you have, whether that be physically or just in the sense of like success wise. But it's like, oh man, it's just crazy because I feel like they're like, damn, how are they doing that? How are they doing that? They can't help but to try to put themselves in competition with you, especially if y'all do the same line of work. So can you tell me more about this Ace of Wands? Why the Ace of Wands? Well, I just heard her flowers are blooming faster than mine. His flowers are blooming faster than mine. Yeah, the world card. You guys have, I'm telling y'all, it's giving me that scenario that I just said. I think you guys do something on social media or there's an energy here of, a business having like a social media presence so a lot of people can see you anybody that does the same line of work for you this is a very specific pile so if you do not do something like that this might not be your pile but anybody that does the same line of work as you or has a business and you have a business they compete but it's almost like who can get the most shine who can get the most exposure how can i be more like them their numbers are just going they got this presence i want to be like them it's almost giving me a i want to be like them type of energy i feel like you guys help people transform in some type of way or you have transformed so there's a lot of people it's almost giving me people put themselves in competition with you but it's almost more so giving me like people admire you because it's almost like you're paving the way for people i'm hearing to be themselves be authentic uh, maybe go after whatever it is that you do maybe expand their mind and not just do one specific routine you're showing people like you could do multiple things so it's not the worst energy but let me see 
Can you tell me more about the Six of Pentacles? This is These are people, whoever th these people are, I really feel like they watch you for advice, but they still put themselves in competition with you. So whatever they do, I'm not going to say everything that they do is learned from you, but a lot of the stuff that they have going on right now, it's like they learn from you, but there's like a little bit of an envy there. It's the weirdest thing, but someone's going to get what I'm saying. Because I feel like whoever these people are, they actually watch you or take some type of advice from you. But yet they're putting themselves in competition with you. Can you tell me more about this Six of Pentacles? You guys could do charity work or you, I'm telling you, it's giving me, you provide a service. Judgment, Scorpio, energy. Okay, what are you trying to tell me? Who's in secret competition with them? Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Taurus. You know what's crazy? There's a lot of major arcana coming out. And we also have a lot of queens here. And we have the uh, Knight of Wands here in the world card. It's giving big energy. So the people, it's like this. Oh, I just bit my tongue. Whoever these people are, right? It's like they have a presence as well. Like, let's say if you have a candle business, this person also has a candle business. Let's say if your business is successful in some way, shape, or form, this person's business is successful. I'm getting that, oh, new girl on the block, um, new kid on the block, Jenny, on, <laughs> Jenny from the block. Like, it's giving, I don't know what you guys do. I feel like you guys stay to yourself. You don't bother nobody. And that in itself is like worrying people. Not in a bad way, but it's like, what are they doing over there? How are they making this up? How they got time to do that? What's going on over there? How can I be like them? Oh, I just heard. Let me fuck they shit up. Oh, if anybody tries to fuck up anything you have going on, it's going to come back on them, especially with this judgment card. You guys are meant for a bigger purpose. And that's why you'll never be brought down. I hate to say it like that, but there's a lot of protection around you. But this is giving me that you guys have a huge presence. And instead of it just being competition that we need to talk about, we need to talk about your presence and how a lot of people admire you. You guys are giving this type of energy. I know this is a judgment card, but there's a bird up here and there's all these other birds. You guys are the light. You guys are the master teacher. You guys are illuminating a lot for a lot of people. And that might be a little bit unsettling. But people don't have no choice but to respect you. So let me just see. Why are, okay, so why is there the competition? Can you give me one more hint? Why is there this competition? For pile three with whoever these people are. I think you guys are a public figure. Let me look, let me look. You have the Hermit card, the Death card in reverse, the Father of Swords in reverse, and we also have the Chariot. Okay, I'm telling y'all, I really think y'all do something where y'all talk to the masses. So you guys, it's almost giving me me type of energy. I feel like I'm the Tower card in some case scenarios. I come through, shake shit up. <laughs> Make people look at things from a different perspective, even if they don't want to. I don't try to do that, but that can be a little bit unsettling, but it intrigues people. So they want to watch, but then they like, mm, what she got going on? Oh, she thinks she better? Let me, let me try to be better. It, it gives that. That's what it's giving. I don't know. It's some weird stuff going on here, but I genuinely feel like you guys stay to yourself. So people always want to know what you got going on. They put themselves in competition with you. I feel like you always outdo it and you probably don't even know this is going on, to be honest, but... I'm not going to lie, when I look at these, I think of lower vibrational energies, which brings me back to this card. I think the main thing that needs to be highlighted here is that you have a lot of people watching you. And there might even be entities in the spiritual realm that might try to break you down. So, you ever heard of attack of the enemy? You guys just have a natural light. So, I feel like you bring in a lot of people or a lot of energies not even by choice, but just because of who you are. And, you know, it can't all be all sunshine and roses. You're going to have people that admire you. You're going to have people that can't stay. You're going to have people that's envious. You're going to have people that's in competition with you. You're going to have people that's going to want to bring you down. That's what this is giving. So let me see what your overall advice is. You guys could have had a very toxic ex that was kind of abusive. That you had a hard time. Um, wow, your advice is the hierophant. That's what I'm saying. Master key, master teacher. Whatever y'all doing, y'all got a divine purpose. So it's really nothing else we need to talk about. Y'all going to be, this is giving me the lightning, the tower card. Y'all going to be that shake up. But the shake up that you bring to people, little do they know, they might not get it now. You're the key that's opening up. I don't know, maybe there's spiritual awakening or opening up doors for people. I just thought of like Cardi B and other rappers, Nicki Minaj. I don't know, Lil' Kim. I just thought about that. But anyway, I digress. 
I do feel like there's an ex here, past people that you have broke free from. You are doing your own thing. Y'all might also want to watch Pile 1. There's a part where I talked about like, was it Pile 1 or Pile 2? I don't know. But there's a pile where I talked about how whoever's friend this was, at some point in time, this friend felt like they had control over whoever chose that pile. You know, when you have a friend and they're used to you kind of being in their shadow or a, a little sister, big sister, whoever, they're used to you being in their shadow or they're used to you kind of being shy, not really putting yourself out there. And then boom, you put yourself out there. People are like, damn, when you start doing that, it's giving that. I think you have shocked a lot of people with what you do, but it's like... They should have never underestimated you in the first place. This is a weird reading. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, title this who's in competition with you or does this need to be, like, who's jealous of you? Who's evil eye you? Like, what's really going on? But, yes, pile three, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. We're going to move on to pile Okay, I'm so glad you guys are the last pile. Let me see. Eight of Cups. The full card. Okay, this person could be an Aries. I don't know why I just heard Scorpio. Or maybe a Pisces. Um, I feel like you guys have taken a chance. It's giving the same storyline for all these piles. I keep getting an energy of people that you have outgrown or people that you have decided to walk away from. It's like you're not with the shenanigans anymore, Pile 4. So a lot of people, it's not even just competition. It's more so like a lot of people are watching you. A lot of people are envious. A lot of people are like, oh, they think they're better nowadays. It's a lot of that. And, you know, that type of energy will likely create someone being obsessed with you, watching what you're doing, trying to one-up you. Even if you don't know about it, you don't talk to this person no more. So it's a whole lot of that. I just feel like you guys have matured. You are starting brand new. And that in itself, for people that you have walked away from, it's like it's giving grounds to be competitive in some type of way, to make themselves feel better. So it's kind of nasty. Definitely getting, um, you guys are like pile, I think it was pile two, one, one, one is on the clock. Uh, there could be a Capricorn that is jealous. Some of you guys could be born on the 11th or the 1st or in January, y'all could be the Capricorn. Um, but I'm also picking up on someone that you guys used to be connected with. I am getting more of a romantic interest. They are jealous of the fact that you have other options, okay? This is weird because I keep getting this jealous storyline. But I almost feel like one of y'all past partners or maybe even a family member. It's either someone that y'all used to be with, sleep with, or a family member. Someone's in competition with who could get the most people who can get more suitors? Who gonna have more people at them? And when I say at them, I mean romantic interest. Who looks better? It's like it's giving one of those, like, I just heard bros before hoes. But it's giving, like, okay, who, who can get the most bites here? And what I mean by that is, like, basically, if you go into a place, who's gonna get the most attention? Wow. I just heard stellar performance. Okay, this could be someone that does sports. Y'all both play the same sport. Or y'all play a game, I'm seeing a console. There was something I was about to say. You know, I feel like you guys have free reign to do whatever it is that you want. Or that's how these people view you. So there's a lot of free spirited energy. There's a lot of like new opportunities. And I don't know why that is so weird. But it's almost like someone tries to one up the excitement that you have in your life i know that sounds so weird but if y'all go on a boat one day they gotta travel to i don't know antarctica the next day it's like they want to one up it's like who could be more free-spirited and who could be more entertaining who could be the most different it's like they try to be different and i feel like it's not natural it's it's the weirdest thing that's coming through for this pile let's pull some cards like what the fuck that is so weird when people are like oh well let me be more authentic or let me be more if she's spiritual let me be more spiritual it's like it's the weirdest thing okay pile four. Oh, she's in tune let me pretend that i'm more in tune whoa or he's in tune let me pretend that i'm more in tune okay who is okay i keep hearing they um ask this so who's jealous of power four who is this person that's jealous of power four? Oh, the empress okay mm, could be a mom could be a taurus could be someone who is also very pretty and has a status but it's like you're taking away the attention but let's see it definitely could be a mother figure though i feel like if y'all oh, that's the sad part about it because that's the thing mothers can be definitely jealous of their daughters or 
I don't really, I can't really speak for sons, but it could be a father and a son, daughter and a son, doesn't matter. I feel like you guys are doing a lot more at the age that you are now than, or versus like where your parents were. And that creates some type of jealousy and also some type of competition, you know, for them to try to make themselves feel better or not feel like they failed at that age. That's going to make sense for somebody. But outside of that, who is in secret competition with power four? Who is in secret competition with power four? Ooh, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. The Empress. Oh my God, who is in secret competition? Y'all. Y'all might want to watch Pile 3. We got this Capricorn energy and we have the Star card. Y'all might want to watch Pile 3. If you guys... I just heard mogul. If you guys are like some type of model or y'all got a YouTube channel or y'all are in the public, you an influencer, there's a lot of people that watch you. I feel like you are this Empress and other people are just the onlookers, the little stars around you that, you know, emphasize your glow. You're also coming up as the Star card. <sighs> All I'm going to say is watch Pile 3. Was it Pile 3? I think it was Pile 3. Watch Pile 3. For sure. Because I'm not even going to go on that tangent again. Please watch Pile 3. But with this Knight of Swords, um, this could be an ex. I'm getting someone that you used to be connect with, connected with. Someone's name could be Whitney. Or someone could like to listen to Whitney Houston. Someone that you used to be connected with. They could be in Aquarius, Capricorn, or in Libra. This is giving exes, period. Past toxic connections that you have broke away from, walked away from, like I told you earlier. Those are the people that are in competition with you. And I feel like if that's resonating, this was a partner that you could already feel was in a competition with you, even when you were together. And if people don't think that's a real thing, you are sadly mistaken because that is definitely a real thing. This page of swords, I don't know who be watching you. Eight of wands. It's a lot of them. Girl, let me tell you, people spy on you to try to see what it is that you have going on. I am seeing here that there was an ex that might have definitely had feelings for you, but they wanted you to be trapped. They didn't want you to move forward. They didn't want you to, like, move on, outgrow them. Y'all might actually want to watch Power 1, too. But she did. They could be a Scorpio. You were able to leave some type of situation, you started something new, and it's actually flourishing for you. So if you guys recently broke up with someone or disconnected, friendship, it doesn't matter. It's like those are the people that put themselves in competition with you. Let's see how they do it. Because I feel like it has to do with, ooh, some of them might be, ooh, real quick. If y'all be getting negative comments or like weird reviews that you know are just outlandish or someone like harassing you, it's these people that you cut off. I don't know, that's gonna resonate for somebody. But let's see, how do they try to like put themselves in competition? Like, what do they be doing? The death card, what do they be doing? Y'all, ooh, watch pile, is it pile one? One of these piles I talk about where someone has somebody already in their life that be trying to hold them back. So if y'all be talking about, oh, I want to go take that job, and it's a partner that's like, no, nah, but, you know, I think we should do this. It's almost like whoever this person is, they try to keep a hold on you. Ooh, if y'all got someone in y'all life that's been promising you a relationship and that's why they're telling you you should stay around or do whatever, they're not. They're not. That's just a, a random storyline that just came through. They're not doing it. Also, for my males, my masculines, you got somebody at work that is definitely in competition with you to try to get a spot. So what I'm going to tell y'all about that, there's somebody here. They could be an earth sign. Definitely a Capricorn. Possibly. Whoever this is, they will try to win by any means, okay? So whoever this person is that I'm picking up on, they will do anything with whatever this is in regards to, to get to the top. So if that's feeding you certain information to keep you stuck and thinking one thing, they will do that. Just saying. We have the Four of Swords. Y'all might dream about this person. Oh, who is this person? You know what else? I'm telling y'all. This, it might be another business owner. This could be someone that y'all used to have a business with, or this could be someone at work. There's a lot of jealousy around your success and your singlehood or your independence. So I would not be surprised if this, these people are gossiping about you or if they try to, I don't know, I'm getting dreams. If y'all been getting psychically attacked, mm -hmm, it's coming through here. But it's almost like they try to compete with who, I'm telling y'all, who could look better? Who could do this better? Who could who could do this better? Okay, who let me go take her man or who who looks the best in this, okay? Or blah blah blah. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. And 
I, ooh, I don't like this energy. I'm not going to lie, y'all. If y'all have friends and there's people coming up to your friends and being like, oh, he's cute or oh, she's cute. Can you go tell them? And they're like, yeah, they're not telling. They're not telling you. And with this feminine energy here coming with this three of cups, this is making me think this is a friend group that you kind of d distance yourself from or disconnect. You don't really talk to them anymore. I don't know. Someone feels like you left them out in the dust and now you're getting all the money and they don't have no money. I don't know what that's about. Ooh, this energy. I don't like it. I'm getting so dry. Uh, but there was something I wanted to say about this. I just heard time is ticking. I feel like these are people you don't pay no motherfucking attention to. Please go watch Pile 3 and also watch Pile 1 with this Nine of Cups energy. I don't feel like these are people that you even talk to anymore. For some. Your money, I'm more so getting, a lot of people are worried about what you do for work and how you're making your money. So you don't even know you're in competition with these people because you don't give a fuck, but they're in competition with you behind closed doors. So if you buy something in your house, they're like, oh, let me go buy this. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, that was the devil trying to stop me from saying it. Boom. Whoever this is, especially if this is a feminine, and y'all may know, y'all like kind of recently or before broke off from a friendship. This person goes around and tries to gossip about you to get people not to like you. I know we're talking about who's in competition with you, but you got to think if you're able to gossip and kind of like change the narrative of somebody that might put you ahead in some type of way. So that's going to resonate for somebody. So let's see anything else they need to know. Any advice? Ooh, anything else? Anything else to help us? Boom. The page of cups and the knight of cups. Y'all got an ex coming back. Just saying, please go watch. I think it was Pile 1 or Pile 3. A uh, message that was coming through is that there's like multiple people that want to come and compete for your attention. We have the full card, the Eight of Cups. Okay, so really quick advice, y'all. Don't give these people no energy. Y'all have a lot of past people coming back. Keep moving forward with this full energy and keep going after that success. Y'all are definitely meant to be successful. So there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to imitate you be in your presence, want to come back, be an opportunist. It's the whole thing. It's the whole nine. But I am seeing where we're going to have some incidences where we got people fighting over you to get your attention, period, and also get your attention back with exes, new people. But I also see where people are going to try to serve as a distraction to keep you from moving forward. It's like people could smell your success and your brand new start. So yes, Paul Four, that is your spread, Lord. All right doing this again i'm not doing this again that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and i'll see you guys in the comments